G'day everyone and welcome to the Capricorn reading. Hope everybody is doing well wherever you are in the world. Let's get straight to it. Let's see what we get. Okay, um, and what I've been doing guys is with the poker deck cards that when I read them to add to your reading, uh, what I've been doing with those is sort of getting a yes or no in case some of you want to know a yes or no to a question. So just think about that while I'm doing this reading. Uh, it's looking pretty good here Capricorn. Uh, in the past, in your problem area, we've got the Moon, one of my least favourite cards out of the tarot deck. Um, now the Moon is that there was some secrets and lies, stuff that you've been trying to find out, you're just not too sure. I do believe this might be around a marriage or a long-term um, commitment that you have. Um, rest assured Capricorn, it looks like things are about to go smoothly again. Uh, I don't know if you're going to find out whatever it was you were trying to find out. I don't know if you need to find out whatever this is, but it looks like things are nice and balanced here. This is happy. This is two people um, communicating with each other, two people committed to each other. And then this is sort of making a solid commitment down the track. Now for some of you, this could be, when am I going to get married? Well, it looks like it's coming now. Um, for some of you, if you're single, you might be looking for someone. Someone new is coming into the picture here. But for those of you already in a committed relationship, it may have had some rocky times in the past. Uh, there's some secrets, some lies, something hidden in the past. Um, it's looking like they're, you know, it's about to come, come good. So let's just have a look. Capricorn, more messages for Capricorn. More messages for Capricorn, please. Now, as I said, think about a yes and no question you might have, Capricorn. What have we got for Capricorn? Uh, is that upside down? No, it's the right way up. Okay, so this moon is clarified by information coming in. Um, it's either coming from a water sign. Um, doesn't have to be a water sign. It could be a Cancer, Pisces or a Scorpio. It might not be. It might be someone's wife, someone's mother, someone's sister. It's a very loving, nurturing energy. But she's got some sort of document or proof for... So maybe that's why this is all happy here. Maybe you're going to get some news here, um, Capricorn, that you've been waiting on and then it helps you to feel more stable here. Maybe something that's not made sense to you or you've been worried about it. You finally got some sort of clarification there and it makes you feel happy and balanced. Wow. Okay, we've got new responsibilities and all your dreams and wishes coming true, Capricorn. What is going on for Capricorn? Um, now, some of you might be pregnant and some of you might actually be having twins. It's not telling me boy or girl at this stage, but I'm going to take a punt and say I think it's a girl. Um, and also, what do we have? Now, I said to you to think about a yes or no question. Um, this is a yes, what we've got here on the table at the moment. Um, so let's just get some uh, other message cards for you. Um, the King of Spades with that Five of Spades, uh, the document thing, that can be, be very careful when you're driving around in the car. So the one warning I've got here, this could be the police officer and a fine is coming up your way. So it might be a bill, it might be a fine. Um, it could be the loss of a job, but this looks like the start of a new job and that would be the leaving of the other job. Or you might get news that this person or that person has left a job. Whatever it is, if someone's left a job or whatever, it's made you very happy. Very happy. Um, so someone might be getting a new job. Um, and then of course we've got this sorrow about sort of it's almost like frustration or uh, plans not going according to the plan that you wanted. But this would be an air sign over there. So we've got a water sign, all very happy. And then we got an air sign sitting there with some sort of stress or something secret again. So anyway, think about your yes or no. That is a yes right there. Just think about another yes or no in case it comes out right now. We've got feeling like you're a little bit off balance and then karma. What you put out is going to come back. So now this could be read two ways, guys. This could be that if you've done someone wrong or you've been lying or whatever, um, that just be prepared because it's going to come back around to bite you in the bum. Or if someone's done you wrong, I just keep getting the feeling you're going to get news that's going to make you very happy and then you're going to find out someone's got their karma. 
So, yeah, if someone's done you wrong, it looks like finally the karma is going to come back around and uh, you're, whatever it is, you're going to be very, very happy. Anyway, that's what we got this week for Capricorn. Hi and welcome Aquarius. Let's have a look what we've got this week for you. New beginning Capricorn. Um, sorry, Aquarius, Aquarius. Um, Aquarius, uh, yeah, you've got some sort of new beginning. So something must have come to an end. Uh, funny thing is, you've got the fool, which is the new beginning. You're stepping out into something totally alien to you. It's like, I, I need to get a new job or I need to get a new life or I need to join a new club. There's something you've decided and you made your choice uh, then you're using all your strength to do whatever this is. And then you've got the death card. So whatever your new beginning is, the new job or whatever, there's the death of the old job. If it's a new, a new relationship, it's the death of the old relationship. Um, but it's taking all your strength uh, to do something. Now also, this could be read in a different way. This could be read that the fool is actually like you have felt like you've been fooled in the past because it's sitting in the past or the problem area where you felt like eh, maybe being used or the, there was just something that made you feel like you were being foolish at the time or somebody else was being foolish around you. Uh, you may have a um, Leo around you or you might have a Scorpio energy around you. Um, I feel right now there is a, a big strength going on. It's like you're using all your strength and power to bring something to a final close here with that death card. So let's just get some more information for you there. I think you, like you put the, what is it they say? You put the cart before the horse. You want to just have this new beginning, but you didn't do the ending. So to have your new beginning and to get strength there, you need to end something else first. So it's like you've got this new job, but um, you haven't ended the other one yet. So that's coming. So the job's there, but you haven't ended something else or you haven't told people. Uh, or you've got a new relationship that you've started, but you haven't ended the other one. So yeah, you will be ending whatever that is. And it could be all of it too. It could be a relationship. It could be a job. It could be the whole lot. So let's just get more information for Aquarius. What's going on for Aquarius? All right. What do we got? Ooh. Okay. Mm. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. All right, this new beginning that you want, I think you started something before. I think you must have started something, you thought it was the right way or you thought it was good, um, but someone, you or somebody else has been really irresponsible and it's a shock to the system. That joker sitting there is where you go, oh, what? You know, it's sort of like where you find out something where someone's just really not taking responsibility for their actions or they're just, they don't care and they're going to do it anyway. So it can be um, where you've decided on something and you don't care what other people are saying about it. You just keep going for it and uh, it's like either you're getting a news like it's almost like a slap in the face about something where you're going oh my god i should have listened or you're thinking somebody else should have listened here now with the strength card we've got a um another fire sign here so leo is fire so you might be dealing with a leo sagittarius or an aries um if this is a relationship that you're in with this person this is a young person uh, it's on the rocks. It's just showing me that there's an imbalance there. And this person's looking back on whatever this choice was here. Someone made a choice here. It could have been impulsive. It could have been something you thought about for five seconds and then you said, I'm doing this. And um, I just feel this was a wrong move. Because usually the fool is you want to make this new start. You're ready to go. This is now making sense why we've got this black death card sitting over here with these cards. Something was impulsive back here. Um, but yeah, if you're in a relationship with this person or you work with this person, it's a younger sort of person. It would be someone that's 35 and under. Uh, it could even be a child. 
Uh, there's some sort of uh, someone's just not committed to you or the journey or something anymore, or you're not committed to a job anymore and you want to learn something new. And this would be like the school, going back to school, learning something new or going into a new business. But there's force changes up here. This ending here, we've got an ending there. We've got endings everywhere. Um, just be prepared for a bit of stress coming your way. It's like you think that I'm going to do this and then you think, oh, I'll just learn this, this and this. It'll all be good. But then when you get there, it's like things that are not what you thought, uh, changes in and around you or other people. It's almost like forcing other people to change or thinking that they were going to change and they didn't change. So something's definitely coming to an end around um, Aquarius. It's either a job because we do have money cards and working cards there. So it could be around a job. It could be around a friendship because you've got two energies there. You've got, um, you know, like I said, that Leo and then you've got another person there. So it could be father and son. It could be sister and brother and all, all sorts of things. It could be a friend. Um, but yes, so something's definitely coming to an, a close there. So if you wanted a yes or no, I asked you at the beginning, I think, um, to think of a yes or no question. That is a no. Uh, with that right there. So let's just have a look um, what else we've got for you Aquarius. Just think about yes and no again in case it comes out in these cards right now. What have we got here? Stand together to move forward and you might have been used you need to say no well that's peculiar because i just said that this full thing especially with this sitting here you may have feel like someone used you um used you for money used you for a job used you for whatever um so you may feel like someone used you in some way they might have even used you it might have been a family member that used you to you know look after the kids while they went out and had some fun um but yeah, you need to stand your ground now and say enough's enough. Something's coming to an end here for Aquarius. It looks like it's the thing you need to do right now. I do think you've been pondering this for some time. Um, you've been working on this new journey you want to take on and it's, 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 it's like it's going to happen whether you, you want it or not. So um, good luck with whatever that is. Um, Aquarius, I'm pretty sure that you had a new job thing last time because this can be a new job and this would be going to get more certificates or more training or something like that, but it's very delayed. It's like you want to go now with this energy here. You want to go now, you want things changed, you want things done, but there is a delay there as well. Oh, I do have to add Aquarius. If you do have someone that's not been very well or something like that, that those cards that we had, the... Um, uh, where was it? Uh, this can be a doctor and a new opinion and something that starts off quite small gets bigger and then we got hospital over here. I did forget to mention that. I was just about to put the cards away and I forgot to mention that this could be around a parent or a child or something like that. It starts off quite small like it's not too bad uh, it's increasing over here. So this would be getting more opinions, getting uh, more information, but there might be hospital on the horizon for you, a child or a parent. Uh, there's something like that there as well. Don't want to alarm you, but yeah, that's sitting there as well. It does look like a stressful time though. Hi there, um, Pisces. So let's get straight on with your reading. If you've got a yes or no question, think about it while we're doing this reading because when I do my normal poker deck, um, I'll give you a yes or no answer. At the moment, it's looking like a no, by the way. Um, and then we'll do some yes or no cards as well. Okay, so Pisces, you've had a lot of stress, a lot of paperwork, a lot of investigation going on. I think you're over it. I think you're over it, Pisces. Um, and then you've got to pay out here. Now, a lot of you might be selling property or buying property at this time or investing in shares. Something like that is going on. Do not be tempted to stray down the wrong path with this devil energy here. Now, some of you might be dealing with a um, Capricorn at this time or someone that displays those qualities. Um, but yes, you have uh, the overload and then you have the payoff. Uh, this can be someone that works 10 hours a week and they get 10 hours pay. So it's even Stevens, um, what I'm seeing there. 
Now, some of you have been very, very stressed in the past, feeling like everything's been thrown on your shoulders. It looks like you're about to get some sort of financial help, um, some financial information. It's gonna make you feel very balanced. Now, I'd like to say that there's a wedding, uh, two people coming together and, and being in love, but the other two cards are not indicating that, but you may get an invitation to a wedding or there may be a postponement of an engagement or a wedding uh, for some reason. Um, be wary of toxic substances. Uh, substances. Um, be wary of being led down the garden path by somebody. Um, all is not what it seems, I think, um, for some of you uh, Pisces people out there. So don't get um, overindulged into something and don't get obsessed with a certain way of thinking. Um, also, there could be something to do with an illness. If it's an illness, uh, it looks like it comes good and it goes bad and it comes good and it goes bad and it all comes stems back to something that's toxic for you. So it could be a medication that's toxic, it could be a food, it could be a drink, it could be a number of things. It could even be that where you live there might be uh, pollution or gas or something like that. So just be on the lookout for that. Okay, let's get more information for Pisces right now. Pisces, someone from the other side that may have been born or died in October is trying to come through as well. Uh, they're trying to warn you as well there to not get bogged down with things. Um, that was supposed to be over here. All right. We've got good and not so good. Um, okay, is this your heart upright? Okay, so someone's going to take on some of the burden. So if you've been left to look after five kids or you're trying to run four jobs or you're trying to get income coming in, it looks like someone wants to share the load, share the responsibility. So that's a bit of a reprieve there. It's going to make you feel a bit good. Uh, there is some sort of sudden news coming in that um, you weren't ready for it, but it's going to force a change that's going to be a change for the better. But then there's a change that you don't like as well. We do have someone that was either born or died in July coming through. I am seeing a female energy here on the table as well. Uh, she's trying to just show you something here. She's saying about learn the lessons from the past. Don't go back over the past. Don't hold on to the past, Pisces. Um, you need to move forward. Uh, this black seven, this seven is where you make choices for a new beginning and moving forward. The black seven is telling me where you're sort of trying to force something or you're holding on to something from the past right there. And it's also a uh, movement for some of the Pisces people because we've got property, like selling and buying property or something, and then we've got movement here. Um, so this is where you want to be and this is where you're going to end up going. It's, it's not really where you want to go, but once you get there, it feels very balanced. It starts to stabilize. And that can be about jobs as well, that you might be going from one job to another. Um, but yeah, where you wanted to go or what you wanted to do, it looks like it's going in a different direction. And it might take seven months as well, seven to ten months, seven to ten weeks before you sort this stuff out. And it can be a date like the 7th of October or the 10th of July, because um, we've got all of these things coming out. Okay, um, I think the person that's in spirit may have died from something to do with the heart there, because we've got the heart there. Uh, we also have cancer cards on the table, so it may have been a, a cancer or some major disease. Um, yeah, so there may be two people coming through here. I don't know if they're male or female because I'm not, I'm not being shown that. I think it's female because of the female card on the end there, the four, but that's usually child. Okay, so what have we got, Pisces? Think about a yes and no. And actually, um, I said that at the beginning of about thinking about a yes and no. You have a more of a yes, but it's delayed. Uh, what else has Pisces got? Time to wait and think and look more closely at what's going on. Bottom of the deck, you've got protect what's yours. So yeah, you just need to take a, a closer look right now. It might be paperwork, it might be a situation. Uh, this can be an injury as well, guys. This can be nice and healthy, and then that's an injury of some kind. It can be an injury from the past, and then you're okay, and then the injury comes back to haunt you for some reason. Um, so if you, let's say you broke your leg, uh, five years ago and everything's been fine ever since. Just be careful because you could re-injure yourself here um, at the moment. So that's another way of looking at this. And the only other thing I can see here is this is someone pregnant 
and a baby girl being born, but it's a very uh, difficult pregnancy or it's a cesarean birth or something like that. There's a lot of fear around it all. Um, there's fear about the movement of where you wanted to be with this baby or where you were going to have the baby. So there's some sort of fear there, but it's all okay in the end. Um, just be wary of toxic substances um, at the moment. And that's what we have for Pisces. Hey there Aries, so let's get cracking. Um, if you've got a yes or no question, think about that while we're doing the reading because I will with my poker deck give you a yes or no answer. And then we'll also look at the deck with the handwritten messages to see if we get a yes or no out of there. Um, okay, so Aries, what have we got for you today? Some sort of information is coming in really, really quickly. It looks like it's a new job, uh, working very hard for the money and then the payout on the end there. Uh, success. So any of you out there starting a business, uh, opening up a business, whatever it is you're doing, getting a new job, it's going to be great. Now, do not be too rushed with what you need to do. Take your time at this. Um, invest money if you need to. Uh, save up for whatever that is you want. But you do have success there with that Ace of Pentacles. On a personal note, uh, I'm just seeing two people working hard together. They've had information come in. They're trying to rush something, uh, possibly trying to rush a wedding or an engagement party. It's telling you, like, just take your time there. So let's see what we get else, um, what else we get for um, Aries. Okay. Oh, this is different. Okay, some of my Aries people out there are going to be having a baby girl. Um, and also we got that engagement, long-term commitment coming out. Uh, it does look like it's been problematic, um, the pregnancy. It was either an unplanned pregnancy or it's one parent going alone, so it's just the woman on her own, uh, the partner's not there at this time for some reason, or it can just look like that you've been trying for a while uh, for pregnancy. Now, for some of you in business, this is the new beginning, you've made your choice, you're, you're putting the plans into progress, you're working out who's responsible for what, uh, what money is going where, uh, you're banding together with people, but there's gonna be someone that doesn't fit. So either you feel like you don't fit in the circle or you need to remove someone from this group of people. Uh, when we're dealing with business matter, it just looks like something needs to be dealt with here. Um, but you've got all your dreams and wishes coming true. It does look like a working financial kind of reading. Um, yes or no, we've got yes and no. When I get a yes and no, it's delays. So it could be a yes if you want a yes, but it's delayed. It could be a no if you want a no, but it's delayed. Uh, there's some sort of change that's got to go on here. So let's just have a look. Now some of you might be dealing with a medical issue. This would be the kidneys, the liver, the bowel, the bladder, uh, the sexual organs. Uh, some of you might need to be seeing a doctor. Uh, you do have the Ace of Pentacles which tells me a successful outcome. Uh, but there could be sick bed, bed for a little while. And it almost looks like it's either something hereditary or something that you've had in the past and it's come back again, but it's not bad as it was. Okay, so let's just do a yes and no for Aries um, and plus messages. So you might not get the yes and no, but let's just see what we get. Uh, Aries, please, messages for Aries. Nothing's gonna jump out at me. The answer is no, and it looks like a yes. Now, like I just said, your cards were yes and no, um, and your cards are yes and no. So how crazy is that? Um, <laughs> the answer is no, and it looks like a yes. Okay, the cards don't wanna answer, so let's just get you another message. What other message? You'll probably get maybe. Um, new job, new home, new life. So like I said, there's something beginning uh, you're going to be working long and hard at it and it's going to be profitable. It's something that you need. Um, so that's what we get for Aries. Okay, who are we up to? Taurus. Let's have a look at what we've got for you. Now, Taurus, do think about a yes or no question because we will be looking into that as well, uh, just in case you want a yes or no answer today. Okay, Taurus. Now, this is either... A few things here. Um, in the past or the problem area, I'm seeing that you've been trying to make a decision, you just really don't know what you need to do. Now, it could be a medical decision around surgery or procedure of some kind. 
It could be a money matter where you're thinking about borrowing money or retiring or getting a new job or something like that. Um, in relationships and things like that, I'm not really seeing much of anything there apart from it might be a long-term commitment and you're deciding do you want long-term commitment or do you want to be single? So some of you Tories people out there might be going through that. So let's get some more information at the moment. So far it's looking like a yes uh, to your question. yes and no we got yes and no <laughs> and we got yes okay so this is more of a yes um, if you're asking a yes or no question so it's yes and no um, when you get yes and no it can be that uh, it will eventually happen but it's delayed um, other times it can be yes and no because uh, parts of whatever you're asking about are yes and parts of it are sort of not there um, okay, so your decision thing is about possibly ending something, possibly it's like you got love and stability and trust there and commitment and taking responsibility for your actions followed by arguments and just, just feeling crappy really. Um, and then we have the same thing again, sitting on the long-term commitment guy, we've got movement in the right direction in love and health and fitness and happiness and all of that. And then we have forced changes going on. So either you're trying to change someone or something from the past you're holding on to, or someone's trying to change you, or you know that for you to continue on with this job, with this relationship, whatever this is you're looking at here, um, you would need to change yourself or the other person needs to change. Uh, your outcome where we've got this uh, new job or retirement or cashing in or um, it could even be surgery. We do have cards that represent a baby girl, uh, possible cesarean birth here. Um, now I'd have to say that it's probably someone that's seven, some, seven months pregnant at the moment. It could be twins. Um, it also could be someone that just gets pregnant and they are going to give birth next year. Uh, it could be their second child. That's why we've got black and red sitting there. Um, but yeah, your outcome cards are showing stability returning and some sort of financial success there or surgery success or business success. As far as relationship goes, I just see a relationship that's up and it's down. Uh, someone wants to be single, but they want to be um, married as well. I'm not seeing any kind of um, affair or anything like that going on. I'm just seeing that someone, sometimes they want to be committed and have this journey and other times they think, oh, I just wish I was single. I just want to do my own thing. So I think that's why that confusion card right at the beginning, someone that lives the life of the married person and then they live the life of the single person. Okay, so think of a yes and no um, Taurus and we'll just see what comes out for you. Taurus, uh, I'm just checking, where's the battery? Where's the battery on this thing? The battery, oh, plenty of battery, that's good. Okay, yes and no for Taurus in case the yes and no card comes out. Those cards right there are telling me a yes, but there's a delay. There's a delay of seven, seven weeks, seven days, seven months. We have, maybe there will be a reunion and stand up for what you feel is right. At the bottom, you say, it says stay positive as much as possible here. Um, so anyway, you need to stand up for what's right and you also will possibly be having a reunion. That might be why you're hanging on to the past here. Maybe someone's come back into your future. So let's say that you're married or in a, a long-term relationship and everything's going well and then there's some sort of reunion with someone you used to be with or even a school reunion. Um, and then you're sort of debating about like whether you want to be married anymore or you want to live the single life because you might have interest elsewhere. But as I said, there is no third party coming out here. It looks more like um, just sort of stuff going on in your mind right now. Uh, anyway, guys, that is it for Taurus. Ah, hey there, Gemini. How's it going? Let's have a look what we've got for you. Now think about a yes or no for when I shuffle the poker deck because I might get you a yes or no answer. Some of them have got yes and no. And then even when I shuffled up the message cards over here, the handwritten message cards, 
they got yes and no. I think it was Pisces actually, and it was quite crazy because that's never happened before. So the answer to their question was yes and it was no. Uh, maybe Pisces was out there thinking about two separate questions. So here we go, Gemini, let's have a look. What have we got for you? Gemini. Wow, uh, some sort of business talks going on here. This is the two bosses. So some of you might be starting a new business. Some, some of you might be talking about travel plans. Uh, there's a lot of information coming in. Uh, some of it's not so great and some of it is fantastic. Uh, but someone's making a firm decision right here uh, and right now. So some of you, congratulations if you're starting a new business. Some of you, congratulations if you're starting in a new school, a new job. Uh, this is all the business decisions are finer coming down. Okay, so let's have a look here. Some sort of movement going on here, guys. So some of you might be changing jobs or traveling. Um, but yeah, you're waiting on some sort of uh, confirmation here. So let's see what else we've got for you. And let's see if we get a yes or a no. So don't think, forget about your question if you've got a yes or no question in your mind. Uh, <laughs> we've got yes and no. Um, if we take the king as a positive yes, we've got one, two, three, four. So that would be a yes, but again, this is showing me delays. Everybody's getting delays and not getting a straight out yes or a no. I think only one star sign so far had a straight out yes. Okay, so there's been a lot of discussions, um, something you're very, very passionate about. Be careful not to overindulge at this time. Uh, and what I mean by that is too much eating, too much drinking, uh, smoking, whatever it may be, something that's not that good for you. And make sure you're getting correct information, even if it's coming from a loving point of view or someone that you know has got your best interests at heart. Uh, if it's a no, it's a no. If there's something you don't want. Uh, now this can be medication or toxic or something like that sitting here. Um, it could be something that's affecting your health because this is a very, very healthy card. This is something that would affect your heart, um, you're not your heart, your health in a negative fashion. Um, we do have the Ace of Hearts there. So maybe I said the heart for some reason. Maybe this is something to do with medication and a woman or a man, possibly parents or whatever. Um, we've got the Three Kings on the table. So there's definitely change of some direction going on here. Um, some of you are missing home or when you're at home, you feel very trapped or very sad or something like that. Cheer up guys, because it looks like it's all about to turn around. Something very positive is coming your way. Uh, for some Geminis out there, I feel like there's something to do with one woman and three men. Um, a business thing, a communication thing. Uh, maybe you're worried about that woman hanging around the wrong crowd. Maybe you're worried about that woman and some sort of medication or drugs or alcohol. Um, but yeah, there's some sort of news coming in and you want to make things right. Uh, some of you might have fears and worries around a female family member or a female friend. Um, but it's all going to turn out. It's all going to turn out with that nice ace of hearts sitting there. So as I said, think about a yes and no and we might get it come out in these cards here. Okay, what do we got for Gemini? Change of career is happening and it seems untrue at the time. So that would be like a no. So if you're saying, is this going to happen? Uh, instead of saying no, it's say it seems untrue. So to me, that's more like a no. At the bottom, we got love is in focus. So I can see that, but I'm, I'm feeling like it's a family love. It could be a partner. Um, but for those of you with uh, waiting on some sort of answers for a job or travel or some sort of plans that you've got, it looks like it's about to come in, but it, there'll be delays. At first, it's, they're telling you like something to do with this over here, like I said, drugs, medication, toxic, whatever it is. Um, and then there's a delay there because of that. And then it gets half as bad, sort of like it comes down where it's not as bad anymore. Anyway, um, things will turn around for you, um, Gemini, and it looks like there might be some sort of reunion as well, but that's delayed as well. So at the moment, there's a lot of communication going on. Just make sure you're getting the right information because this can represent a lawyer as well. So it could be dealings with a lawyer. Uh, it could be somebody else that's dealing with a lawyer right now as well. Um, and you might be getting a job with a lawyer. Anyway, that's what we have for Gemini. 
Hey there, Cancer. Let's have a look what we've got for the week ahead for you. Now, if Cancer, if you have a yes or no question, think about it now. When we get onto the poker deck, I'll see if it's going to give me an answer. Uh, so far, we've only had, I think, one that gave a no and one that gave a yes. All the rest of the signs have been getting yes and no. And even when we shuffled up the message cards and I said, think about a yes and no, uh, one star sign, I think it was Pisces, got yes and no. It was quite crazy. So anyway, let's have a look, uh, Cancer. Hopefully we've got a nice positive reading for you this week. Well, it's good and it's not so good. Okay, so you've made some sort of decisions. You want long-term commitment. You want happiness, stability. You want to make your business grow. Um, you're trying to put it out there. You're analyzing things. You're trying to work things out. You're, you're, you might be dealing with medical things at this time. Um, then we've got the Eight of Swords. Now, if you're dealing with medical things, it could be a medication. It could be something that you're taking that is making you ill. Um, it could be something you're eating that's making you ill. Um, but then there's the turnaround. The Ten of Cups would tell me that your health is going to be fine and dandy in the end. Um, so you've got to work out what that is. Um, also, you could be very, very stressed at this time. It's like you sort of got yourself well adjusted here. You've been doing some sort of investigation. Now, if it's a private personal matter, a love related matter, it does look like you've got lots of happiness coming your way in the end. Um, but you're going through some sort of major, major stress here um, in the middle here. But this can be self-imposed beliefs, self-imposed restrictions. Fears that you just sort of, you focus on them and next thing you know, they're out of control, crazy out of control. So just think about a yes and no, because we might get them out of the poker deck. Uh, we might get a yes and no. we just get some more information of cancer. I do like you've got that 10 of hearts there. That's uh, 10 of cups. That's beautiful energy there. Okay. And that can be a marriage too. Some of you might be waiting and delayed and fearing, am I ever going to get married? Am I ever going to have this person? Yes, you will. Eventually you will. Okay, so what do we got for cancer? Yes or no for cancer? And plus some more information for what's going on with cancer this week ahead. Okay. We got a beautiful card there and another good card. Ooh, okay, so something to do with eight or medication, toxins, something like that. Um, I do believe that that is a yes because the jack and the ace and then the two and the nine is all to do with uh, yes, a positive yes. Now this could be about work, um, not really seeing much money. It's like you're doing a lot of work for a little bit of money. So if you work four hours, you're only getting two hours pay. Um, uh, with health related matters, this is all very healthy over here. This very, very healthy energy. This is actually pregnancy energy and baby boy or baby girl. I don't know. It's not really telling me. Um, and that could be August next year if you're waiting on a baby. So some of you might have to do some sort of operation or medication or something like that if you're wanting to be pregnant. Um, now, this is all your wishes coming true. This is something you've been thinking about, something you've been working on. Um, you do have this everybody's friend energy there, but it's also about traveling and moving about. Um, then we have, like I said, this stress overload and you need to balance your emotions and focus on what's positive because sometimes you're getting quite down and out here. This is where you're sort of confused about something. You, you, you think something's this and then you think it's the opposite. Um, up here with this happy marriage and, and happy stability, if that eight wasn't there, this is a really nice announcement here. It's actually like an engagement or whatever. Now, this here can be toxins again. It can be about medication. It can be about uh, drinking too much, gambling, all those sorts of things. It also can be uh, hanging with the wrong crowds and getting the wrong information. It also can be stuff about like text messaging and um, some sort of conversations going on that maybe don't need to be happening. And that might be what's causing you some sort of stress. Um, but I do think there's an announcement of something to do with a different job or someone's not working anymore or something's not happening, but it makes you happy. This announcement makes you happy. So just think about a yes or a no. I'm going to take that as a yes, um, but we'll just see what we get over here.
you will be happy soon like I said over here um, it's finally about to come true so something you've been waiting on that's why you're so happy and ecstatic over here now it may be some news about a female um, and something to do with work as well uh, something you've been investigating or hoping for or whatever but it's finally about to happen whatever it is you've been waiting on cancer it looks like it's finally finally coming out uh, if you wanted to know when um, could be eight days away it could be eight weeks away it could be the eighth of next month it could be at eight o'clock at night the only reason I'm saying that is because the doubles yeah so as I was saying I just got interrupted by a phone call um, and now a message yeah so it looks like um, things are about to go your way here cancer because you're going to be extremely happy over here you've got an announcement in your favor uh, it could be that all the hard work you've been putting in it's not so much paying off with money but it's paying off with some sort of success or something like that but I do feel there's something you've been really really investigating and putting your time and efforts into uh, it might be a person you might be watching a person it might be someone that's a bit of a player something like that and and then you've got this balanced commitment type card where you're feeling quite balanced and settled but you're not like this is nightmares and stress and not sleeping and this is feeling a bit unhappy when you're at home you're just not happy you you feel like things aren't right um, but yeah there's possibly a conversation about love and everything it makes you really happy here uh, down the track anyway that's what we have for cancer okay Leo let's have a look at what we got for you think about a yes or no question you might have in your head to get an answer um, and when we do the poker deck I'll, I'll tell you whether I get a yes or no and plus we'll look at the message cards for you okay Leo Wow uh, some of you have got a new job opportunity a new learning some of you are going to school some of you are dealing with children at this time um, some of you are playing the field as well um, we got all your dreams and wishes coming true we got the birth of a baby boy sitting here as well um, but yeah everything you've been hoping for now this nine of cups uh, what I'm looking at here yes it can be all your wishes coming true but also it can mean a lot of a lot of emotions have been going on good and not so good um, we do have that player energy there so be be warned um, Leo either you yourself Leo are uh, being a little bit of a playing in the field um, or someone's doing that to you uh, we do have younger and older energy here like father son brothers younger brother older brother uh, work colleagues that work together younger and a little bit older um, not very much older it would be if it's work colleagues it would be someone in their 20s with someone in their 30 35 um, so something like that um, but yeah I think this is sort of like wanting to travel and do things and then wanting to learn a lesson at the same time so let's just get some more information let's get a yes and no for you now some of you if you're dealing with medical matters uh, it might be time to if your health is being really really good just go and get a checkup and see what's going on there because the page of pentacles could be a new doctor it could be someone new investigating something that's going on and it might not be you it might be someone you're dealing with as well so let's see what we get for Leo all right uh, we have an imbalanced relationship but we have happiness sitting there at the same time uh, we got taken responsibility for your own your own actions especially around a child or the future and a job uh, we got something to do unfortunately Leo we got something to do with uh, <sighs> third party is coming out in your cards now this card over here can be male or female the page can be male or female um, and then we've got a male here uh, but yeah we got fears and worries around third party um, it can be about family members and twins and things like that it can actually be twins that are having a third party type of thing you might be a twin yourself and there might be a third party involved um, and as far as that birth thing goes it looks like it's twins uh, that would be born but I do see when I seen this a relationship on the rocks and I did say the emotions could be sad emotions as well this is like talking and stuff going on people going out with each other uh, people going out to dinner or having a coffee or something like that uh, then we got this working card here and money card um, and some sort of business and traveling around this could just be someone that's in a car driving around in a car 
uh, things like that for their work or during work. Um, but then over here, we've got this uh, third party sort of truth and lies going on. So Leo, you need to investigate that further. You need to get to the bottom of what's going on there. Um, someone's hiding someone, something or you're hiding something. If you are the one hiding something, it looks like it's about to come out and get revealed. Um, so let's just do a yes and no. And so far those cards are showing yes and no. So the cards aren't playing very nice today. Uh, what's Leo's messages and do they get a yes and no? Okay, what do we got? Soulmate and Twin Flame. Like I said, Twin come out. So Soulmate, Twin Flame. And expect big changes are on their way. And protect what's yours came out at the bottom here. So the big changes on their way, maybe this third party thing is over. Or maybe you're done with some sort of third party. And then like it's focus is on family and stuff like that. It doesn't have to be third party. I mean, it can just be friendships and stuff like that. But um, yeah, anyway, a bit of a mix match there because I've seen all this dreams come true and this travel and then learning something new. Um, but then I'm a bit worried here with this imbalance in a relationship, especially with third parties sitting on the future sort of circumstance. So you might be a bit suspicious about something right now, Leo. Anyway, that's what we got for Leo. Hey there, Virgo. Okay, let's have a look at what you've got. Just think about a yes and no you might have in your mind. And when we get to the poker deck, uh, we'll see if we get a yes and no. Okay, what's going on here, Virgo? Uh, for starters, you've made a choice, you've made a decision to commit to a certain journey. Now, this could be a person, it could be a marriage, it could be a job. Anyway, you've decided that this is what I want and this is what I'm going to do. It looks like you've been mulling this over for some time. Now, at the moment, we have either you, yourself, or somebody else that is... Um, they're just overwhelmed with things. They're wanting something better in their life. Now, it could be you. It could be that you're thinking, I just want things to be normal. I just want to be happy. Um, you're focused on some negative kind of energy there. It could be someone holding on to something from the past. It could be you holding on to something from the past or a person from the past. Um, you're, you're wanting to grab this cup of happiness and love sitting in the background. And it does look like it because we've got the King of Cups sitting here. So either you, if you're a female, you've got the king of love coming into your picture here, um, Virgo. So if you've been alone here, it looks like the king of love's about to come your way. If you have been in a relationship and you've got um, something going down with that relationship, this is all sort of like, it's just love, just uh, happiness, love, stability. I always see the king of cups as being the father figure, the husband, the grandfather, you know, the family person, the person that wants to put their arms around you and tell you it's all going to be okay. Now, some of you Virgo energies might be dealing with a water sign, um, male or female, just go from the energy of the card. So that would be Cancer, Scorpio, or um, what's the other one, Pisces. Uh, so you might be dealing with a water energy at this time, but I do feel you've made a firm decision and a commitment to what it is you want to do. You might be committing to a job, committing to a person. Um, there's a bit of sadness there in the middle, a bit of remorse. Um, trying to make things right, I think, um, with that King of Cups energy sitting there on the end. Um, but for those of you that have been alone and that sadness is yours, um, Virgo, it looks like someone beautiful is coming into your picture here. So just think about that yes or no, as I was saying, while I'm shuffling up the poker deck here. We've got a double yes. We got a double no, and we got a yes and a no. <laughs> All the cards are doing the same thing. It will not answer me. So you must know the answer yourself. Um, this is all about commitment, love, and a marriage. So when I said you're choosing a person or whatever, this is commitment and love and just full on love and understanding here. The King of Cups over here, Seven of Hearts over here. You're choosing what's right, not just for you, for other people concerned. Um, now in the middle here, now this could be a illness, a sickness. Um, the eight of spades would represent drugs or alcohol or medication of some kind. Uh, if we looked at this as a health matter, this is you very, very healthy, strong, moving on your way, your heart strong, your head strong, your body strong. Um, this is very healthy energy. 
This is some sort of, as I said, alcohol, drugs, medication, something toxic. Um, and then it causes some sort of problem either in the sexual organs, the bowel, the bladder, the kidneys, the liver, something there. Unfortunately, it's showing that it will get worse before it gets better because this is where it's getting much, much worse. I do feel it's sitting around a male, uh, a male energy. Um, but then this is changes for the better again. So it's where you, let's say uh, you go to the doctor, you find out that this thing you've got uh, is much bigger than you thought. Um, and then with some changes in your life, change where you live or what you eat or what you do or doing some exercise, whatever it is, you get yourself back into a healthier version of yourself. Now, if this is not you, you're dealing with somebody that's going through this, um, but it will be all okay there in the end. Now for others, this could be about, I'm not really seeing work, but these cards indicate work. Um, if, it, if it's to do with work, I feel like there's something that's come to an end. It's, it's some sort of friendship or something here, uh, sitting here that, it's, it's, when I see a black three, if that's a family unit, that's where somebody doesn't fit. If it's a friendship circle, that's where somebody doesn't fit or you feel like you don't fit. There's been some sort of gossip or text messaging or um, emails or something like that. It's created a shitstorm basically because it's gone from a little thing to something quite big here, but it will work itself out. Something will, I feel that Virgo, you've made your choice over here and you've got to bring this back into play where you, you, you balance this back out again. But whatever this drama is here, I think that's why we've got this, this Four of Cups here. This is like, I've had enough of this. I just, there's gotta be something better than this. So yeah, this is sort of um, stress or it's sickness or it's something like that, or it's even heavy duty work. But I'm not thinking it's work because there's no money there. There's no pentacles. So let's just try and get a yes and no out of this deck over here for you, Virgo. Yes and no for Virgo. Yes or no for Virgo. Uh, yes or no, new job, new house looks good. Now I did say I didn't think it was about work, but this is changes you make that you plan for. You and somebody else, you sit down and you plan where you're gonna live, what you're gonna do. Um, so that's your plans you're making. It does look like there's been a lot of paperwork or a lot of research, a lot of discussion before you get there. Um, also, you might win. So I don't think it's money because there's no money there. It's telling you uh, at the bottom of the deck, time to rest before you get busy, Virgo. Anyway, that's what I've got for you now, Virgo. And, and as I said, this can be being a little bit busy and this is overload with busy. It's kind of like the Ten of Wands energy, that card there. Um, but yeah, so be on the lookout if you haven't been feeling well or somebody else hasn't been feeling well, might need to go and get some medication or something and make sure whatever it is you're taking is the right thing that you're taking because uh, this could be the cause. Um, it could be some sort of medication that you're on. It could be something that you're having. It could be something that you're eating. Um, so whatever it is could be causing drama here. Um, it might be digestive stuff, but yeah, it will turn around in the end. And if it's not you, um, Virgo, it might be someone that you work with. It might be someone that you have to look after. Um, I do have the female energy there as well. Anyway, that's it for Virgo. Hi there, Libra. Let's get straight to it. Let's see what we've got for you. Now, just think with your reading, if you've got a yes or no question in your mind, just think about it now. Wow, Libra. Libra, you might be going on some sort of journey, some sort of new job. You're going to fit in so well. You're going to be in this wonderful group of people and there's so much happiness coming your way, um, Libra. There may be you and some friends uh, going on a journey. It might be, as I said, a new job, a new beginning. Um, but yeah, yeah, this is very, very healthy, beautiful energy here. And this, the light's shining on everything that you're doing. It's sort of like everything's just falling into place and you're so happy with what's going on here. Um, for some of you, you might be uh, pregnant and that is the news. And this is a baby boy, I'm thinking. Uh, we'll have a look further at the cards now. Like I said, think about a yes or no, um, Libra. All right, we've got yes and no. 
we got yes yes and we got yes no okay so that is a yes there for you um, Libra um, there may be some sort of uh, problems with work or problems with getting traveling backwards and forwards at the moment or some sort of delays around that you may get information from a female member of the family or a friend it may be some sort of slight sickness or something like that but it does tell me that with some sort of medication or something everything will be fine here um, I also see that uh, money might be tough at the moment but it's going to go from 8 to 10 so let's say you're getting $80 an hour uh, I wish I was um, $80 an hour you might end up with $100 an hour so something's very very profitable here uh, you do have something to do with a father figure or a mother and uh, mother and father husband and wife kind of energy coming out here with Libra um, now a sickness kind of thing is sitting next to the female side of this and a male uh, the male side is showing something that's more to do with an injury of some kind so it's both of them on both sides of it it's both the same level so if there's a sickness around someone um, she might be a water sign or he might be a water sign or they you know they're emotional people um, this could be you as well Libra um, but yeah th this can be some sort of minor illness that needs tending to and the other one is a minor injury could be something to do with the feet a movement or even speech um, there I'm not sure what the outcome is on the male side of this but the female it's it's going to be okay here there's just some sort of medication and everything's okay again um, but yeah you've got look like you're going on a nice journey as far as work and stuff goes uh, you may be struggling with work as I said and then there's a new opportunity and then there's an ending of another job um, and you may be working with family um, that could be family owned business could be husband and wife that owns it mother and father that owns the business um, but yeah there's something you're going to be ending but it's going to be very very good and you're going to be very happy so just think of a yes and no um, again even though I said that was a yes yes and no for you um, Libra you might be wrong and stay positive as much as you can now I find it strange that that's sitting over near the mail that I said that some sort of injury or something that's coming uh, their way his way um, but yeah these can be brothers and sisters as well so yeah uh, that's what you got so just be positive at this time Libra but you might be wrong about something it might be something that you you haven't got the correct information so you need all the proper information okay and that's it for Libra hi there Scorpio let's get straight to it so these will do your tarot think about a yes or no question um, I do believe that last time I looked at your cards they looked a little bit black so hopefully these cards are turning out a lot better this week so as I said think about your yes or no we'll get them from the poker deck and we'll also get a yes or no possibly out of the message deck so let's just do a nice quick brief reading for you Scorpio okay Scorpio we still got some issues going on uh, there's a feeling of wanting to be rescued or wanting to escape something right now if you're a parent it could be about responsibilities if you're wanting to be a parent and wanting to have a baby it's not looking very likely right now because everything is black so it could be a troublesome pregnancy it could be troubles with fertility uh, the other thing can be troubles with children troubles troubles with family but I just feel like a lot of you Scorpios out there you've made some sort of decision and you just feel like you want to escape right now I also feel like the six of swords could mean a um, it can it, it can mean things like where someone's just not committed to a journey or it can also mean things like taking responsibility for your actions like who's going to take responsibility who's going to do this then we have this nine of swords now this could be sleepless nights worries and fears now it could be about work because I feel like this is a working energy over here it could be a family matter because this can be family or friends uh, extended family um, you will make a firm decision moving forward now for those of you with health related matters it's looking like something to do with the bowel the bladder the kidneys the liver something in there uh, something in the the the, from the hips to the ribs not including your lungs or your heart just from the hips to the ribs 
So yeah, there may be some sort of thing there. It looks like an injury, not so much a sickness, what I'm looking at here. Uh, the other thing I'm looking at is just escaping. You, you, you thought you escaped something. You, you thought that you got to the calmer waters, but then there's just more drama going on. Now, this could be a legal matter as well that's going on. Uh, I do think it may be around a family member, a brother, a sister, a child. Uh, there's something like that going on. So let's get some more information. Let's just look if we've got a yes or no. So far, that's a straight out no that we've got there for Scorpio. Okay, let's get information for Scorpio. Sorry, guys, I was just shuffling and focusing. Okay, money deals, business deals going on. All right, we've got a yes and a no. The cards don't want to answer me again. Okay, so I can't not give you an answer apart from I do believe this answer is more swinging towards no. Uh, we do have some sort of medical card here or a, it can be a doctor, a nurse, a physician of some kind, a healer of some kind and changes for the better that were planned for in the past. We also have a financial planning type thing going on there and we got the two kings sitting there. They're usually making business decisions. We then have this indecision going on. This too can be a breakdown in a marriage or a business partnership. It can be something that just doesn't work properly. Now we've got someone that's very headstrong. He knows what he wants. He knows what he wants to do. Then we've got someone that likes to sort of jerk around, play around, be everybody's friend. Um, when the two of them come together, it does work sometimes, especially when they talk about money, but there's other things where they're on different sides of the fence with their decisions. Now, moving forward, where you're making this decision up here, there's something to do with a um, speaking the truth, finding out the truth. And then we also have this stress and fears going on when you're at home. You've got really opposite cards coming out today. So some of them are saying positive things, some are saying negative things. If, as I said, like right at the beginning, any kind of medical thing, uh, there's ups and downs with that. It, it's not as bad as it was. It drops down, but there is definitely something there um, that needs to be sorted out. You may even need to travel somewhere to sort it out. Um, the other thing I'm seeing within business is a business partnership dissolving. And then it's kind of like standing on your own two feet there. There is a female energy there as well. So there may be something to do a female involved in this whole um, business thing or this medical thing that I'm looking at here. Now, if it's not you with a medical thing, um, Scorpio, it might be someone you're closely related to, something you're dealing with. Yeah, but I do see more to do with pain and injury than um, sickness. So the sickness is there, but it's, it's more to do with some sort of injury. Okay, so your yes and no cards, let's see what we get. You need to be patient right now, either with a person or a situation that's going on. You will eventually find a solution to the problem. Um, something might not be true that you've been told as well. So like I said, you need to make sure you're getting the right information. Uh, there's something, some form of escape, something you were told that would be like a rescue. Um, and it's turned around that it's created a lot of stress and pain and problems here at the moment. But you will stand strong and make your decision and move forward there. And that's what we have for Scorpio. Hey there, Sag, Sagittarius. Let's have a look what we've got. Um, now, if you do have a yes or no question, think about that. And when we get to the poker deck, I'll try and get you a yes or no. So far, I've got yes and no on nearly every, every reading. Oh, what's up, Sag? What are you up to? We have the very, very alluring Empress sitting on the table. She is fertile. She is sexual. She is beautiful. She's intelligent. She's multi-talented. She's very, very desired. Then we have the cheating, lying, stealing, betrayal, letdowns card sitting there. I don't know if you've let yourself down, you've been hurt, I don't know, but it's sitting around you right now. And then we've got the Five of Swords energy. Good for you, Sagittarius. You are having enough and walking away. I do believe we got this recently. Uh, so far, we've got a no on the table here. So let's just get some more information for Sagittarius. Wow. Now, if this is about pregnancy, the Empress being the fertile woman, uh, it looks like a baby boy. 
But usually when I see a black card representing the baby boy, to me that means you've already have a boy and you're gonna be having a girl or you're really desperately wanting a boy, but it probably isn't a boy. But we need uh, other confirmation on that because I'm not really seeing anything to do with pregnancy at this time. We need more um, information. So yeah, think about a yes and no, Sagittarius, and we'll see what we get. Okay, the cards have all dropped out on the floor. What have we got here? Yeah, we do have pregnancy cards that have just dropped out with a baby boy um, and the hospital. Okay, so we got the hospital, the baby boy, we got the, the nine months of pregnancy and love. Ah, and then we got triple sevens. Okay, so something, someone that's born in July is trying to get through to you or someone you're associated with is possibly born in July. There's changes that you don't like that you need to do. There's changes around your financial circumstances, changes of where you live. You've had enough of something, um, Sagittarius, you've had enough. Uh, now that Jack of Clubs can represent your desire to go overseas, your desire to have a new job, your desire to um, flit about here and there. But if you're wanting some desire with, this is you being all beautiful and wonderful here and desired, this person wants to play around. Uh, they want to have their cake and they want to eat it too. And they're sitting right on top of the Seven Swords energy, which I really just don't like because it's stealing or cheating or lying um, and things like that going on, Sagittarius, unfortunately. Um, you need to stand your ground here. The answer is no. Um, we've got more cards that say no to me than yes on the table. Um, so let's just do some more information here. Now, in regards to work, it looks like you've got very, very stressed or you haven't got any work right now or there's something to do with hospital or government buildings. And then finally your wishes come true. You start on that new beginning, but it feels like you're being cheated out of money here. So if you were promised some sort of pay packet or you're promised some sort of bonuses or something that was gonna make everything good for you, it just looks like you need to get some um, more advice uh, how to handle this situation. Let's just get um, some yes or no. Just think about another yes or no question you might have, um, Sagittarius, in case it's yes or no. The answer is no. And a very strong connection is there. Um, you need to stop limiting yourself and stop playing it safe, which is what's on the bottom of the deck here. So your answer is no. Like I said, the answer was no, because I've kind of got negative energy going on there for Sagittarius at the moment. But anyway, good for you over here. This is where you stand strong. And then I think that plans that you made in the past, you need to let go of them. That's like you're holding onto something from the past. You're thinking it's gonna change, it's gonna be better. Uh, and make a new plan because that new plan will work. This seven of diamonds is telling me that movement, new job, new house, new atmosphere, new people, uh, let go of whatever this is. It's, it doesn't serve a, a good purpose in your life anymore. And you're better than that. Yeah, you got the Empress there. Anyway, that's what we got for Sagittarius.